Good morning, my darlings. Today I'm heading out to do a bit of Chanel shopping and the new mascara has just been released, so I'm so excited to go out and buy it today. I am wearing this wonderful dress and this is by Reese. I absolutely love this colour. I have to show you the full dress um, and maybe I'll insert some photos, but I love this dress. It feels so beautiful. I'm so happy I bought it. I love this colour. Anyway, so I'm heading out now. It's really early in the morning. I'm going barefaced, and the only thing I have on is some moisturiser on my skin, and I have a little bit of lip gloss, which is by Fresh, um, because I'm hoping to be colour matched because my skin colour has changed because of the summer, so I need a warmer um, foundation. So I'm going to try a few swatches as well. Also, um, I am wearing Delina. I wanted to wear this fruity, rosy rhubarb perfume. But today, I just feel like, I don't know, extra feminine, extra girly. I'm heading off to, um, not Selfridges, I'm not sure where I'm going just yet, but I'm going to buy a few bits from Chanel and I might buy a bit more skincare. Guys, I do not have a skincare routine and <laughs> I need to find one quickly before the winter. So I'm off to see what I can find today. Anyway, I thought I'll quickly check in with you and I'm going to take you guys with me to do a little bit of Chanel shopping. So if that interests you... Keep watching because the new fall winter collection has just been launched. So I'm really excited. I have bought a few items which I'm going to share with you guys very soon. So yes, I guess we'll <laughs> One. I don't know why. I know, I'm thinking about it as well. <laughs> I'm, using I'm using Hydro Beauty because mm -hmm. you said you've got like dry skin and you want a more hydration. So we're going to start with that. Okay. And okay. then we're going to go for like a primer that has an SPF 40. Okay, sure. And then we're going to go for the foundation. Okay. Yeah, that one's quite nice. So that is, we're going to do 131. Okay. okay. I love it. Yeah, the other one, I think I can wear it in the winter. This one? One, two, one. one two. Wow, I feel like I look so much younger. <laughs> I think it's also the serum, which is really pumped skin. You know, the hydration is like, came back. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, Very much is a matte finish, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's why I put this. Um, I like mattes, I think. Serum. Oh, I see. To help the hydration because you've got dry skin. Yeah. And if you're just gonna apply a foundation on a drier skin, yeah. it's just gonna start caking up. Oh, and it's right. gonna start separating and stuff like yeah, that. That's okay. why like, it's really important to prep your skin. Yeah. Um, look at your skin, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so nice. Honestly. Yeah. Like it's a bit too yeah. Okay, I'll try this one. It's gonna add a concealer. Okay, thank you foundation on my neck, something I never do. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. I think it's really nice. It's a bit lighter. It's the BD121. Okay. Just to kind of blend in all together. Yeah? Okay, sure. So I'm just going to apply um, powder where I think it might crease your skin, oh, so yeah. you know the small line. Yeah, this one is the yeah. worst one. Yeah. And this is 40? 40. You see it kind of lifted up. This one. Because your eye gets a bit oily. Mm -hmm. so. A little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. I tend yeah. to feel like it gets more oily when I put eyeshadow. Yeah, that's what I find uh, as well. Otherwise, it's fine. Yeah, I think probably it's the creamy texture. Mm -hmm. I should have done it this way. 
the way I was doing it before didn't make sense. And I need to do my eyebrows. I haven't done them in a very long time. Aww. Guess how long I've never done my eyebrows. Aww. You have to guess. <laughs> and it doesn't seem that long. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, beautiful. it's two years. I haven't done anything. All I do. Such a beautiful no, no, I do put some powder here because there's yeah. little. Yeah. And then here there's crazy ones. Yeah. But I'm gonna get it done. I just let my brows grow out naturally. Nice. I put some castor oil and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That to let it grow. Um, I've done a mistake. Yes. So the lighting, obviously, um, I hope you can see, but that's that's with no light on. I'm going to see how it looks in daylight, but this is shade 131 for my warmer skin tone now that um, my skin is more tanned, more warmer. I think this looks really nice. I'm going to see how it is in the sun. I think it's quite nice. It's the best one for brown skin, I think. That's that's like what I wear all the time. Yeah. This kind of color. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. So I wanted to try this one. My final look. Wow, I really like this colour. I didn't think I'd like this. I'm so in love. But obviously we've got this beautiful lighting. Um, but the colour is so nice. I am wearing which shade have I got on? I think it's called. I think it's 199. This shade here guys. 199 this is actually called Intendu which is so beautiful on and you would like to get all of these as well right yeah so I thought I'll pop in to read quickly have a brow see what's new for the autumn as you know this is my favorite store um, I have to say it's always a little bit cringe <laughs> when um, walking into your favourite store and you're wearing like the entire, their entire wardrobe. <laughs> wearing like all their clothes. Anyway, let's have a look. Everything looks so amazing here guys. It looks so nice. Loving the colours. We've got some greens here, some camels at back of course. And um, what else we have? Yeah. Look at my makeup. I am liking my makeup all Chanel today. Darlings, I'm on my way home now to get some food and my makeup is all done by for now. Tell me exactly what you think of it. Do you like it? I'm really liking the foundation actually. It's a bit tiny here in the sun. I'll show you in the shade but it looks really nice. I think it's a really good colour match. So this is going to be my new warm tone. I think I'm going to go back and actually buy it now because I've tested it in the sun and it looks really good. And I have um, rouge crocodile on the cheeks and I really love it. 
I have the new autumn collection or fall collection and um, lip colour is so stunning. So yeah, I'm gonna go to get some food and then I'm gonna share everything that I picked up for you today to my favourite coffee stall. Um, just to grab a quick tea and have a little catch up with the guys there. I'm really liking this foundation guys, it's so nice. Oh my god, I can't believe I found a decent foundation. So yes, let's um, quickly grab some tea and um, have a catch up with everyone. Let's go through the different samples I found. Let's try this. Okay, so the samples I received is a small version of my mascara that I bought, which is lovely. And then I have a sample here of the um, base foundation. So this is like goes underneath your foundation. I did try this and it did not suit me whatsoever, so I'm not so sure. I'll try it again. And then I received these which looks amazing can't wait to open this one it's like one of my favorites i'll be wearing this a lot during the autumn this is a fragrance that's going to be on my fragrance tray i'll be wearing this a lot and then i have this sample here guys um this is so cute i actually have one of these i love this um, color so i'll be trying that as well and then some skincare Oh, and I found my sample. <laughs> um, my essay knows me very well. She gave me my favourite fragrance, so that's really, really kind of her. So I'll be trying out all those samples for first. Uh, let's check my tea. <laughs> just got home and today was another super hot day and the foundation is so beautiful I'm really really shocked so I've been wearing this foundation now for about maybe five hours because I think I I had my makeup done early in the morning first thing and I have to say I am so shocked with the results like I didn't think it's going to suit me number one I thought um, the wear wouldn't have been that great. I don't know why I thought all of these things, but I think in the past I've had, um, I've tried Chanel before in the past and the color was just not matching extremely well, but I'm talking about more than five years ago. Um, so this is looking really nice. And let's see if I can just zoom up. So it's a warm day. So this is a true wear test. And I have to say it performed quite well. Um, I'm always more concerned with like my smile lines and I think it's not so bad. Um, you can see the blush is still there and I still have some shimmer and I do have the eyeliner there as well, but I am really loving it. The only thing that's missing is the actual lipstick as I've had lunch and then I had some tea with some friends catching up. So um, that's all gone, but I'm going to show you everything that I bought. I'm really excited to share so let me get into everything I bought from the new holiday collection so let's go through all the items I bought now I actually was so excited to hear about this collection because it's focusing on nude so Chanel has come out and they've recently launched I think today was the launch day of their mascara and I was so excited when I saw all the marketing press release I was really excited when I saw 
everything like stripped down to bare nude and it's a nude for every skin tone they have about eight different shades of nail colors eight shades of lipsticks and i do love nudes anyway but for me this is actually tying in perfectly with my beauty journey i am on a journey to more feminine delicate belly there makeup very soft um it's makeup but no makeup look and guys i am stripping down everything and starting from scratch like you know a beginner like someone that doesn't even know how to do makeup i wanted to be that person to sort of help you find the shade that you're looking for if you are new to chanel or if you've never thought about wearing Chanel and you have brown skin, then I wanted to sort of help you along with that as well. I've been wearing Chanel for a very long time. I must admit, um, I think I've been wearing it for like the last seven years or so, but I've only ever worn their lipsticks and nail polish. So it's really nice now to see that they're incorporating all these different colors that's going to be suiting everyone so I'm quite excited about that so let's talk about the new release which is the autumn winter collections I picked up four shades and I have all four here so the very first shade I bought actually it's the shade I fell in love with it was emotion which is 945 the next color I picked up was the because this is the one I really fell in love with oh no it's not that one it's this one here yeah it's this one I fell in love with it's 939 and it's called Singularite and then I have another color that I was really interested in is this one here it's 953 essential and the next color I have is Denude which is 949 those are the four nail colors I picked up also from the collection, I also picked up the mascara. It's the first time me opening this actually. And this is the, it's called Noir Allure and it's in number 10 Noir. Look at the packaging. I can't wait to show you this product here. So this one is very, it's already opened. <laughs> this one is very similar to the lipsticks if you're familiar with the Rouge Allure collection um, from Chanel. Um, oh wow, that's so cool. Um, it's very similar. Look how sleek that is. Nice sleek design. And to open the mascara, you just press down, it pops up, and then you twist and pull out the mascara. Um, and that's the ones there. I'm going to just zoom up for you guys. It does have a scent to it. It almost smells like a, it smells like a crayony chocolate scent. <laughs> I normally do wear eyeliner a lot. I normally wear black eyeliner, very slight wing sometimes on the side, but I wanted to try something that had a different color. And I think this color is going to look really nice on brown skin. And especially now that we're approaching the autumn, I think this warm, it's like a warm, auburn chocolatey wine brown color i think it's gonna look really nice on brown skin so well all skin tones um but i thought yeah let me try this something different to stand out instead of black so i bought this one as well i have a lip gloss here in shade 119 and this is a beautiful nude and you guys know how much i love nudes this is a sparkly nude which has silver it's sort of silver and multicolored flex in here i rarely go for lip gloss with shimmer but i just want to try something different and because i'm doing this whole nude look like i'm just stripping everything down and it's just a bare nude look i thought this might be quite nice and if i'm wearing like a bare face with a little bit of sparkle it just adds a little bit more um like dimension to the look so i thought i'll try this i've never tried this color before 
So that is my 119. I'm going to list everything down below um, for your convenience if you're trying to find these shades. So that's that. And let's go into the lipsticks that I picked up as well. I'm thinking of filming a video where I'm going to go through all of my lipsticks and see which lipsticks are dupes as well, as well as my nail polishes, because I love nudes and I love reds as well, but I rarely wear that much reds and pinks. But on my fingers, I normally wear nudes. The color I have today, this is also Chanel as well. This is Organdy, which I do have here. Um, so that's 504 Organdy. And I'll just quickly show you, before I show you the lipsticks, um, it's this colour here and I think this is a beautiful nude colour if you have brown skin and you're looking for a pale pink. Now I like this formula because it's a cream and I feel like you have to find just the best. I think there's a nude for every brown of course like naturally there's a shade for everyone. You just have to find what you like, what you're comfortable with, and what brings out your personality. I do love this colour. It's a pale nude cream um, that's very lightly pink. It does have a tiny bit of brown in there as well. So if you have brown skin, this is going to suit you. I really wanted this type of shade without it looking chalky or thick or heavy. I don't know how to describe it. But you know when you see a nude and you think that's too chalky or too pale or too... It looks heavy and dense then I stay away from those colours. I go for colours a little bit more like this. It does have some brown warming undertones in there and um, there is some pink as well. On camera, I would say it's almost true to colour, almost. Um, I think on camera it's coming out a little bit more on the paler side, but in real life, it's such a stunning, stunning, delicate nude pale pink. So try Organdy. I love this. Also, I'm going to link all of my foundation shades as well down below as a reference so then you guys could know whether you are the same skin tone as me or similar. And I feel like even if you are four shades lighter or four shades darker than me, once you have brown skin, I think most of these colours are going to suit you anyway. So that's sort of a handy tip as well. I normally do that as well for reference as well. I look for someone who just has brown skin and I can sort of work out how the colours will fit me. I mean, am I the only one that does that or do you do that too? <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know down below. I'm actually curious to know. Um, but yes, this one is beautiful if you're looking for a pale pinky nude. I'm actually going to rank the colours. I think I'm going to rank it. You know, I haven't even spoke about my lipsticks as yet. I'm coming back to the lipsticks, I promise. I'm just so excited to do this um and it's like my first like makeup video as well because you guys know i'm talking about femininity tea and perfumes of course number one fragrances <laughs> so this is all very new to me but i really wanted to share all these colors with you so let's just get into it because i'll just talk way too much way too much i'm going to rank it in order of okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to rank it in order what caught my eye for sure okay so let's start off with 945. This colour caught my eye from magazines and advertising. This is the colour that I was like, wow, I need this colour in my life. This colour here. So this is the colour I was like, I need that in my life. I'm sure I have something very similar to this, guys, but let's just see. We're not going to worry about that today. I'm just sharing what I have. Now, this is such a beautiful nude shade, and I think this is the shade that's going to suit every single skin tone. I think it's going to suit those who have a very light complexion, um, very cool complexion, warm. I think all shades of brown is going to look really nice as well. I think the deeper your skin tone goes, this is going to come out a little bit more rosier, more on the pinkier, rosy side. So I can imagine wearing this with my, like a cosy knit jumper, you know, sweater weather, and I'm wearing like all nude shades or neutral shades, and I'm wearing this on my nails. I think it's just really, really stunning. So that's that one, that caught my eye. Okay, so guys, this one, Essential. I have 953 Essential. 
And this one really caught my attention because it is this really unique sort of brown that, I don't know, it looks like a toasty colour. It looks like toast. <laughs> this one here, it's just so different. And yeah, I think this is like a really interesting nude. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't normally go for a colour like this. This is like a light brown tan colour. I would go more on your pinky nudes, like more of a pale pink or a mushroom nude, but never a brown nude like this. So I'm quite interested to see how this is going to look on my skin. This is like the wild card for me. But I don't know, something about it just looks warm, cosy, a bit toasty. I think this again is going to suit every skin tone. And if you want something that's the perfect match for your skin, then if you're a deeper skin shade, then this should uh, this will suit you as well. These are so new, I can't even open them. So it's really, really nice. Can you see that there? That's a bit more true to colour. And that looks a little bit like toast to me, or a crumpet. <laughs> it's quite warm. So I was intrigued by that one. The next colour I really love. This is like my true colour, something I would always buy. This is Singular Eat 939. And this one, I was like, yeah, that's more like my shade. It looks very similar to my organdy, but it's nothing like it. This one is a nude. It has more of a brown tint to it. You can't really see it here, actually. Um, but yeah, it has more of like a brown um, tint to it. Really pretty colour. I think if you were my skin tone, you can definitely wear it. So when I try this on my skin, it does come out like a light brown with some pinks. It's quite nude, pale pink and brown, like a light brown but it's very delicate. This is a color you could wear every day. It's a very feminine color. Uh, it's really pretty, so I bought this. And if you want something that's barely there, low maintenance, then this is a good color to have. 949 is the last shade that I bought, and this one, guys, honestly, um, <laughs> this is a true natural color. Denude, look at that. I really like this. Now, I tried it on, and I only tried one coat of it and it looks like my nails, I don't want to say my nails but better, I guess so in a sense, I think so. I mean I need to really test this out and see but it's almost like the colour of my nail bed. So it's more on, my nail bed is more on the light pinky side, this is more on your yellowy tone sort of light brown but it just looks like you've had a fresh manicure. And this is nice if you're just going for a barely there, very delicate, like Duchess Princess nails. So I really do like that as well. And let me see if I can open it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Again, I think even this could be really nice as a base for a French manicure as well. I really like it. It's like a creamy coffee sort of color, very light cappuccino latte i'm gonna name all the drinks on my <laughs> color that's quite nice as well and so i have that now let's swatch the lipsticks because those are the ones i am really interested in i have 199 intended and so this is your rouge allure and very similar to my mascara you just press and pull up to release your lipstick. Now this is so pretty, 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 pretty. So here we have the lipstick there. And I have to say it's fairly true to color. It looks a little bit more orangey reddish here, but it's a little bit deeper than that, a little bit deeper. This is so pretty, really, really pretty. I tried this on with a lip liner as well and the lip liner i tried today it was rouge noir uh, and that's also by chanel as well which i do have and i think that looks really nice this one here the next color i have from the new collection is alter ego yeah 209 alter ego and again press and pull up and this is the shade i love this one i think this is my favorite shade i just want to show you quickly what i bought 
um, in today's vlog. So that's everything I bought. I did go and buy actually um, a lip liner as well today. I bought the Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Intense and that's Charlotte Tilbury. I bought this because I have, I think I have two colors that I normally wear as a lip liner, two or three. But because I am starting again, guys, with my makeup and I wanted to find different um, nail or lip liners, sorry, lip liners for all my nudes. So I'm just looking for different tones. Um, so I really want to try this. This one is quite deep. So I feel like if I purchase a lipstick that's fairly nude, this is going to warm it up and really sort of melt it into my skin tone and make it pop and look amazing. So I bought this to try it. I do like this sort of rich, warm brown color. So that's something I will be trying. I've never used this before, guys. Like, honestly, I've never used it. And everyone's been wearing it for the longest time. I'm like very late to the party. Um, so yeah, I have it now in my collection. So I'll be sharing that with you guys too. I want to go through also what's on my face by Chanel. I have my Ultra La Tint in 132 and that's BD 132. Then I have the concealer in 91 and then I have the loose setting powder as well in shade 40. And um, what else do I have on? And then I did try their skincare as well because I have used their skincare in the past and I'm thinking of going back to Chanel. But I don't think I'm going to do anything until I see a specialist or a dermatologist for their opinion on the best products I should be using. I want to really wear more natural skincare if that makes sense i don't want anything with active ingredients unless i need to but my skin is normal and a little bit dry naturally in the winter um we have central heating the months are colder we're washing with you know hot water so skin dries out which you know i shouldn't really do i guess you know so i just want to find something that's natural and obviously a balanced diet helps and being healthy all these different elements help <laughs> Um, all these factors need to be taken into consideration for your skincare. Staying hydrated as well. I am pretty good with staying hydrated usually. I mean, I could double my water intake, I'm sure. Um, but that's something I need to do as well. I just really want my skin to be clear and healthy. And I think now I'm moving you know, into another stage of my life where I just want to find something that's going to work for me even better. And whatever I find, I can share it with you guys so it can help you so you can find something because I know I have certain issues as well and it's like I'm scrolling through like you know YouTube Instagram to see if someone has the same issues so hopefully this video will be useful to someone out there as well you can take this um, as a guide and we can help each other so yeah I like that <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlog today and let me know if there is anything that you will be buying from the new Chanel collection for this winter, this autumn, let me know. Um, what do you have your eye on? Is there anything that I showed you today that you're going to be running out to buy? I would love to know, really curious actually. And what do you think about me sharing my makeup with you and my journey to creating very feminine, barely there makeup? The random fact is whenever I do wear my makeup, whenever I spend hours and hours on my makeup, people always compliment me and say it looks natural and I'm like I tried so hard <laughs> for it not to look natural so I'm like okay fine I'm gonna go with that and I'm really gonna focus on just creating feminine natural makeup and of course I'm going to change it from time to time but let me know are you team natural feminine you know barely there makeup or are you full-on full face makeup um Team A, Team B, let me know down below in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you. <laughs> so darlings, I'll be back with another vlog soon and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.